déployé pour nous dans Et nous avons pratiqué ça qui est légitime violence. Et nous avons répété encore, nous sommes grands Simon, nous avons tiré sur nous, nous avons ça pour nous faire. One thing we can all attest to is that Haitian Maji is very strong. But why is Haitian Maji very strong? We have to take a look at history. We have to look at how we came out of the condition of slavery. We have to look at the wars that transpired on that island. Especially on the west side of the island. Why is it that we are so good? It's because of our experiences. The Maji that we have today is because it has been repetitive. When you do something over and over and over and over and over and over, it becomes second nature to you. What we have is a tradition that arose out of misery. It wasn't what, let's just say, let me say this. It is not the tradition that left Africa. What happened was the tradition that the traditions, more than one, that left Africa when it came to IT, it became a melting pot. Because you had various people from different tribes, different cultures, that put what they knew together with other people from different tribes and they created what we have today called Vodou. This is why you have nation, you have different nations. But in the midst of this, why did we come together? Because we felt that la union fait la force. The unity made the strength. So what we had became a necessity. It was what was the fuel for our revolution. It was what gave us power. It gave us our strength. The tradition, what we had to do was acclimate our spirituality to warfare. It wasn't just a physical war that transpired, it was a spiritual war as well. See, when we talk about Maji, why is it that we have so much black magic spells, curses, rituals, and things of that nature? Because when we had our oppressors over us, we had to utilize this on our oppressors to get to our destination. And not only this, we practice on each other. Because Haiti hasn't always been a cookie crumble, I love you, my brother. There was always internal war, and still to this day, there is eternal war, internal war going on today. I like to say, the east side of the island, if you want cleansings, that is the best place to go. Now, if you want to talk about destruction, the west, west side of the island is definitely the place to have access to. But I don't recommend foreigners going at the present moment. But as far as the island of Hispaniola goes, it's night and day. It's night and day. But to remain focused, I will say this, when it comes to black magic, we had to design, we had to design forms of magi to take our opponents out. Because this is the world we, this is the world we were living in. We were living in a world of tragedy, misery. So we had to create something that would stand the test of time. So when we do something, it is built to last. 
And not only that, this is a means for us to feed our family. So we have to do, be good at what we do so that we can provide for those around us and provide for ourselves. If you don't supply the demand, you won't eat, nor will your children. Poverty is a big thing in here. So you have to do what you can to survive. And if you're going to do something, you got to be good at it. So when I say repetitive to people, some things, when you do it over and over, it becomes second nature to you. It doesn't, it, it, you don't even have to question it because you've done it so much over and over and you see the routine. So when someone comes at you for beefing, rivalry, whatever, you know automatically what's going to happen to them because you've done this repetitively. Practice makes perfect. And this is what separates Haitian Maji from all the rest. And I definitely want to put Port-au-Prince on the map because Port-au-Prince is definitely where the action's at at the moment. And that's where it's always been because everything that has moved throughout Haiti has always began at the center, Port-au-Prince. With that said, I conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching.